Today we're going to demonstrate a taping technique for edema control over the dorsal PIP joint of the finger. You'll want to start with a small piece of material that spans from the midpoint of the proximal phalanx to the midpoint of the middle phalanx. Once your piece is cut, be sure to round your edges for better tape adherence to the skin. Once you've determined that your piece is of appropriate length, you'll want to cut the fan shape by folding the material in half and cutting along the paper side. The more pieces you cut, the more surface area you will cover and therefore the greater effectiveness your technique will have. Here I have cut four strips, which I will fan out over the dorsal aspect of the PIP joint upon application. Though it is not shown here, you'll want to prepare your skin by cleansing it with rubbing alcohol and removing any lotions or oils on the skin to ensure better adherence of the material. When applying the tape, begin with the patient's finger in a flexed position. This will decrease excessive tension on the tape during active flexion, and it will also create ripples in the tape during active extension. This is the therapeutic component of the tape. It's lifting the top layers of the skin and allowing excess fluid to drain out of the finger and back into the lymphatic system.